forget about it. Forget about it. Cassandra, Cassandra.
And so on the night of the reception, I was making my way around the hall when I heard the DJ announce, and now it's time for the father-daughter dance. <laughs> I was horrified. I went into a panic. What if my dad didn't want to dance? Now everyone would know. I rushed over to the table where my parents were sitting, and my dad wasn't there. And I said, where is he? And my dad's cousin rose from his chair and pointed to a dance floor empty, with the exception of my dad. He was dancing alone, just like he had across a lifetime of Saturday nights in our kitchen. <coughs> but here, with a backdrop of party lights in his suit, our friends and family cheering. <coughs> and it turns out he hadn't heard the DJ announce the dance, but he did recognize the opening notes of the Rolling Stones' Gimme Shelter, which with its lyrics of, ooh, a storm is threatening my very life today, isn't your standard wedding fair. <laughs> I stood watching my dad for just a minute. I knew I was about to walk into what was the moment of a lifetime. And once out there, we danced mostly separate, and I know some people there found that strange. But for my dad and I to have selected a slow song to which we weren't really connected, it wouldn't have been us. The Seibels are not a sentimental people, at least not in the traditional sense. Despite the short amount of time I got to spend with my dad as a kid, I have grown to very much be his daughter. I like to think of myself as a tough cookie. Well, thank goodness that's never been put to the test. And I listen to my music in the way he did, with the songs turned up loud, the best ones on repeat, and dancing in the kitchen. My dad doesn't say it very often, but do I know that he loves me? <laughs> 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 <laughs>